guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. In this episode, we are taking a wee break from the engine rebuild videos and we're gonna do a slightly lighter subject. We're gonna be doing the electrics tray under the seat of the bike. Uh, now, if you know anything about these custom bikes, you'll know that there are two key things that most builders are trying to achieve. Firstly, they're generally trying to reduce the weight of the bike. Technology's moved on a lot since these bikes were first built and you can take some components out and replace them and save a huge amount of weight. Secondly, the other objective is to tidy up the lines of the bike, make it look a lot cleaner and more minimal. Uh, so the electric tray is a key component in how you achieve this. Uh, on my bike, when I bought it, it had side covers under the seat, it had a big heavy AGM battery, it had a rear fender, it had a cubby hole for a toolkit, it had another cubby hole for gloves, it had a lock for your helmet, it had so much stuff that really didn't need to be there and was detracting from what is actually a very pretty bike underneath. So the electric tray enabled me to get rid of all of that stuff and move it into a nice tidy little tray underneath the seat. So there were half a dozen key components that I wanted to move into this electrics tray. Firstly, the battery had to move, which meant I needed to swap it over for a newer Shirai item. The new battery then required a new regulator rectifier to make sure the voltage was within limits. I'd also purchased a motor gadget M unit blue just to tidy up the wiring loom for the bike. I'm still keeping a starter solenoid, so that is going under the tray. And even though the M unit can work with your phone and do a Bluetooth unlock, uh, I also wanted a key hidden away somewhere just in case I didn't have my phone with me for any reason. So those were the half dozen units that were going into this tray. I could have gone out and bought a Cognito Moto unit. Uh, that being said, first of all, I don't think I'd have fitted everything in there. And secondly, I'd already had my frame welded by that point. Uh, and I don't think it would have worked with the way that I designed the rear tail hoop. So I set about to weld this myself. I've never really done any welding before, but this isn't a structural component. So the quality is not critical, by any means as long as the end product looks decent that will do me to be frank uh, so without further ado let's crack on with the video and you can see what i built
guys, so that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, as ever, please make sure you subscribe down below so you can see the next part when it goes live and give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs down, tell me why in the comments below and I'll try and improve it for the next video. Until then though, stay safe, cheers.